Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a sculpting video and I'm, this is a long doll, uh, the long process for making this doll. So um, I'm going to go through the process of sculpting the shoe bill face. So I tried a couple of different techniques with this one um, and because I wanted it to have a movable jaw. So there was a couple of techniques I tried that I wasn't happy with. So I went back and forth with this sculpt a long time and I basically only just included the bits that I um, the bits that I went with, so I didn't really include the bits that it didn't work. But if you want me to do a video on that, I can sort of talk through the process uh, if I can find the right footage, I guess. Um, so basically, this is the first step of um, creating the shoe bill. If you haven't seen my previous shoe bill video, uh, I sculpted the feet. So um, the I use a different type of clay called cost clay to sculpt the feet. It's bendable clay, and uh, it was the first time sort of using it. So I did a cost clay impression first impressions video, and that was the subject that I used so I've already got that up on my YouTube channel if you're interested in how I sculpted the feet but for the head this is what I sculpted first uh, it was a lot of trial and error like I said I wanted to do a movable jaw so um, I basically had to try a couple of different techniques to make the big hollow and um, just work around uh, different joint methods for the movable the movability um, so what I'm using for this shoe bill head is Sculpey Original. So it's the softer Sculpey, Sculpey and it's white. Uh, you can get two different kinds of Sculpey. Sculpey. I keep calling it Sculpey. <laughs> um, and, or you can get coloured versions as well, like Sculpey 3. Uh, the other one's Sculpey, Super Sculpey, which is like the beige colour. And the harder one is a um, Sculpey Firm, which is the grey colour. Um, so I like to work with softer, uh, softer clay. So that's why I went with um, the. I, I like working with Sculpey Original because it is softer, and I can work a lot faster with um, softer clays. So basically, what I'm doing now is sculpting the top part of the beak. So the shoe bill has a really strange beak, and uh, I, I picked this doll specifically to try different techniques and to just try to do something different and something a bit strange. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm trying to make the bill um, hollow. So I can open and close it. So I'm starting with the top bit of the beak and I'm using a bit of aluminium foil to create that little hollow uh, cavity underneath the bill and then I can go back and um, uh, pull that all that uh, aluminium foil off the underneath of the beak and then I can start refining that a little bit more. So I'm basically just going over and refining the top bit of the bill to make sure uh, it is um, how I want it sculpted because I'm going to be uh, baking this in the oven to make sure it's nice and hard so I can work on the underside and it doesn't bend or anything. So uh, just making sure I'm happy with the way the beak is uh, looking and all the dimensions and the sizing is right and all the curvature as well because shoe bills have a really strange beak so I wanted to get that curvature right um, and just going over refining it again. So once this is sculpted I'm going to pop it in the oven and uh, bake this a little bit longer to make sure it's nice and hard so I can start working on the rest of it.
Alright, so I'm going to start working on the bottom of the bill this time. So again, the same sort of technique, but instead of using the, um, the aluminium foil, because it's a little bit hard to get out, so I wanted to bake this together so it uh, bakes, so it doesn't sort of warp in the oven and it bakes together and it keeps the same shape. So what I'm doing is doing a really rough um, bottom shape of the beak and just applying it to the top part of the beak and just refining it a little bit more while it's on there and then once I'm happy with the way it looks I'm then going to bake this uh, in the oven just for a little while uh, just to make it a little bit hard and I'm going to remove it from the top half and then I can start refining the rest of the jaw once that's been done. Alright, so that's been baked and I've refined the jaw a little bit. As you can see, I've tried a little bit of a different technique with the joint that I wasn't happy with, so I ended up pulling all that back end bit off and redoing it. But for now, I'm just going to be uh, adding the detailing for the little tongue bit underneath. So this bit has been baked, so it is hard, and then I can just go ahead and add any more little details that I wanted to add. So I'm just adding that, like I said, that tongue bit, or I don't even know what it is, the inside of the beak, uh, and just uh, sculpt around and adding the little details that I want and then I'm going to bake this in the oven as well. Making sure that the uh, it fits onto the top half, you always want to make sure that it's going to fit with the top half of the jaw. So, um, I've put, as you can see, I've pulled all of the old joints off and I'm just going ahead and refining the underside of the top of the beak. And then once I'm happy with that, I'm going to be start, I'm going to start adding the actual face of the shoe bill because I want it to be one big, uh, solid piece. I had a different idea. I've just wanted the, um, bill to move, but I changed up a technique again. And so I'm adding the top half of the head. That's like the, where the eyes are and all that. <laughs> so I'm going over a piece of aluminum foil that is to keep the weight down and to not use as much polymer clay. And I'm just going to go in and going in and basically sculpting the top of the head. I'm going to be using glass eyes for this one. And, um, you'll see that in the whole pr procedure of me sculpting how I attach the eyes and sculpt it in there and then start sculpting all the detailing um, yeah like I said the the, the beak bit is uh, nice and solid so I can uh, hold it and work with it a little bit better and uh, yeah just going over and refining the process again it's pretty much a long process but um, I just wanted to get the the shape of the shoe bill right I have reference images over on my computer next to me and I usually just hold the piece up next to the reference image to the same size to make sure that all of the dimensions are correct <music>
So with the jaw, I've added this little piece onto the side of the head that is basically going to be like a cover sort of for, um, the, for the lower jaw to slip into. Again, I had a different technique to doing it, but I changed it up a tiny bit. I still had the same sort of concept, but um, I changed the way the joint works. And you can see I've uh, trimmed or carved out a lot of um, the lower jaw to make sure it slips in there properly and it can, and it can move around nicely. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and refine some more detailing on that jaw to make sure it looks like a shoe bill, I guess, and it doesn't look like a mechanical joint. So a lot of back and forth um, with refining to make sure the jaw sits in there properly and it also moves smoothly against the piece as well. So at this point, um, I came up with an idea of a movable jaw, like something that I'm happy with. So I trimmed off this excess piece at the back of the lower part of the jaw and um, just to accommodate the way the shoe bill jaw moves so I can open uh, a little bit bigger. And then I also started again having to refine the piece a bit more. I ended up mixing up some uh, epoxy sculpt to just make things a little bit stronger. So I ended up putting it on the back of that lower jaw piece and um, attaching the, I'll do a separate video on, um, on the way the movable jaw works. So that's gonna be over on my Patreon and I'm going to also put it into my shop to show you how I did the movable jaw or if something that you're interested in purchasing. Um, but that, that's coming up in uh, the next couple of weeks. 
So yeah, like I said, I'm going to be uh, putting the back half of the jaw uh, with this epoxy sculpt to make it stronger and that way it won't chip because sometimes with the Sculpey original it is a little bit fragile because it is softer. So I like to reinforce things with um, uh, uh, epoxy sculpt to make it a bit stronger. So I lost any footage that I had of the actual finished piece. So this is what I have. This is what it looks like. A really basic solid piece. Uh, anyway, I hope that helps and I hope you enjoyed this sculpting video. I have more shoe build videos coming up. So keep an eye out. Um, the doll is finished. I'll need to take some pictures and stuff. But you can check me out my shop at creaturesandart.com. Patreon link is down below if you want to join. And uh, you can also catch me on Instagram and Facebook at creaturesofnet. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.